Du, 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 du. We are at Batu Empat Belas. What's up, you guys? And good morning. Today we are doing Batu Empat Belas Hantu Perez Kongkoi. I will U turn, but the rest will go to Chenna Titi. So it's all climbing out today. I will be doing below 80 km, close to 1,000 meter elevation. While the gang will do 108 km, close to slightly a bit more, maybe 100 meter extra. Today ride is not going to be easy for me because I have to admit December, January, February, so many celebrations, birthdays and Christmas and Chinese New Year I've, I've, I officially gained 5 kilos uh, That's so hard to lose weight, I just easily gain like that, oh my goodness So I guess it's going to be a hard ride for me today Especially since this day's route is climbing Honestly speaking, I've not been looking forward to this because climbing is tough. Look at that misty way. Look at it inside. Can't even see anything. So misty. It's nice and cold now. It's close to about what is it now? 21 degrees Celsius. We're going at about 27, 26 kilometer per hour. This route, we're not gonna zoom la. So much climbing. But look at the view. It's all mist. Even though it's all misty here, but there's no cloud in the heavens right now. I think it's gonna be a very hot day today. Ooh. comes the climbing. Climbing begins now. The infamous 3km of Bukit Hantu. As everyone overtakes me, I am gonna go slow. Because <sighs> I've not done climbing route for the past, what, six, five months? Four months? I don't know. <sighs> gonna just take it easy this time around. <sighs> They're all so fast, eh? so far away. Like all climbing routes, I think I'm gonna solo je, maybe by myself throughout. <coughs> so, you if you have done Hantu before, you've done Paris before, you have to do Konkoi. Konkoi is hard, so hard. Konkoi is one of the routes that actually I had to push bike three times. <laughs> Wait, cannot talk now. Ah, gradient about six percent. Just have to slowly. Go up. My plan is to go 200 watts all the way up Hantu. Not push so much. Out of curiosity, right, have you ever had like um, this kind of fear in every ride? Like for me, especially when it comes to climbing routes uh, or long routes or whatever, I always have this have, have this fear of going for that ride. The reason of the fear is you know, scat cram la, pain la, hot la. Cannot finish the ride lah. Scared I come home late lah. So there's so much fear in cycling sometimes. Seriously, <sighs> don't know if any of you have that kind of fear. Ah, <sighs> I just wonder. Like this morning, when I woke up, and I was like, not just yet this morning lah. Yes, yes, day night itself as well lah. I woke up, I thinking like, wow, this route, close to thousand meter elevation, in about seventy plus km. It's gonna be pain, and I really don't look forward to Concord because Concord is hard. I don't know. Uh, I was having doubt. Should I then do reverse Hantu? That makes four climbs, four very difficult climbs. Well, not difficult lah. Paris is not difficult lah, but there's this fear like in every ride. <sighs> do you have that fear that you wake up in the morning, you hope it rains, you hope ride cancel? <laughs> okay, but. Regardless of all this fear, I do hope I complete this difficult ride. 6% gradient, based on Wahoo is telling me there's another 1.9 km more to go. Whew. Using at about 190 watts. Uh, my heart rate is at 132. So, based on Shrawa, based on Wahoo as well, 
telling me I have 13 minutes of pedaling time. So, all this data, I'm gonna pace myself. Hey Google, play some downloaded music. Playing on YouTube music. Drink water, hey, drink water. Oh, quick one, guys. If you have been watching my videos for so long and you've been enjoying see me, seeing me suffer in all my rides, uh, I hope it doesn't trouble you to put a like on my channel and click on the bell notification because I always notice. Out of the 3,000 view, I always get about 100 likes. It'd be nice to get a bit more. Hopefully it helps the channel to grow. Then I feel more motivated to go. And hopefully my channel also motivates you to go ride. Especially routes that's bigger than you. And this route is bigger than me. The route's been like 9%, 8%, 9%, 8%. Another 1 km to go. Heart rate also 140. I really feel horrible. <sighs> so today you're looking at close to about 30 km of climbing. Wow. Well not really 30 km, 10, 20, 25 km of climbing. First climb done. <sighs> See how it goes. <sighs> scared me. No dogs in front. I risk out dogs. Dogs don't chase me. Whoa, scared me, scared me. Dog nearly chased me. That was scary. Downhill time! No need to pedal! Oh, a much needed rest from all the uphill pedaling. It's gonna be a hot day today. It's gonna be a hot, hot day. Look at the sun at my face. Ah. It's gonna be hot. Ask Marcus, did he wait for me very long? He said only wait for five minutes. Okay, not bad, not bad. I love this part of the route. Very tranquility, very tranquil. A lot of trees. Uh, until the climb starts to pick up. And I realized that I'm not going that fast. <laughs> hey. Okay, about to reach the Paris T Junction. We did about 15 km already. <sighs> And I'm tired. Oh. The dogs are in the middle of the road. happening? Huh? I see a lot of people here. Surprising a lot of people today. That's nice. Bye, 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 bye. Ah. Now you say someone hey, collapsed? Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up, what's up? It's at the corner there. Huh? Just 200 meters. Bicycle, away. motorbike, or human? Bicycle. 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 Uh. People is doing the CPR. We call the ambulance. Oh, and CPR. So yeah. Watch your video oh, again, and yeah. again and again. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. It means I have to, I have to ride again and again and again. Okay, you're right. it's, it's recording, by the way. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, someone brings some up there. Yeah. Oh, chicken, yeah, chicken. Yeah. Don't have to ask them. Apparently, someone fainted up there. They're doing a CPR now. Hopefully, nothing happened. And I told my gang, since I'm going to be the slowest, I myself start climbing now while they are waiting for Ian. Okay, this is where the accident happened. They're doing CPR now. Someone collapsed. Hopefully, nothing happened. I'm not going to record anything more than here. So, off camera. There are a lot of people there helping. So sometimes you know that you don't need to stop to help when there are other people there. Because more people help, might create more crowd which probably is something that you do not want to do unless you're a doctor or you know CPR then stop and help lah so they already contacted the ambulance and 
yeah I mean this does put into perspective how fragile one's life is as much as we like to go cycling this and that but the unpredictability of anything any exercise any form of living walking heck eating even that life is so fragile so make every second count and I do pray seriously again that the gentleman there is okay sad day sad day again this also reminds me to remind all of you uh, again I'm not passing judgment or jumping the gun what happened to the gentleman up there but it's more of a friendly reminder to everyone here that life is unpredictable the time you have on earth is unpredictable any events that happens is unpredictable it's out of your control but something that is in control right now is if you're healthy load up your insurance number one make sure you're well insured in terms of medical bill and life and critical illness and if any of you are looking for a wonderful insurance agent PM me my wife is an agent and she's a wonderful person and number two get your annual health checkup done I think that's something that we cannot discount uh, honestly even if you do annual health checkup it doesn't 100% guarantee you'll live every second of the time you, know, you can't predict when time goes I don't know is this the right thing to say right now but I think I want to remind everyone insurance and medical check and stay healthy is important It is now 8.30 in the morning at 22 degrees Celsius. I've done about 18.3 km. This is a 5% gradient climb. Uh, and I've burned total 624 calories. <laughs> Every speed, probably really slow. Morning, morning everyone. <laughs> this is Melvin. I met him in uh, Genting Pere. <laughs> and I am so not fit. <sighs> what happened? Ah, uh, three months, uh, two months, uh, holiday, birthday parties, Christmas, Chinese New Year, oh yo. Oh yo, 60 day layoff. 60 days layoff. Back to square one. Back to square uh. one. Come on. Uh, yeah, 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 be more, be more, be more. Ah, be more. <laughs> Why do you cycle? I, uh, I just want to exercise, you know. It's like a we weekly routine. Uh. Sweat it out. Get it out there, right? Yeah. For water, work, working stress, ah. Uh. Working stress, definitely. That's why they say about mental health, ah. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A man's right. mental health is not often speaked upon, but it's true. It is true. It's true. It's true. It is nice and windy, man. It's, there's a sense of tranquility right now that's very peaceful. I'm just gonna let it record now and stop talking. and holding my breath that was nice I've arrived without me knowing it I've been going so slow that <laughs> my climb was just a very peaceful slow climb that was nice that was pretty nice and without knowing it I reached the top nice morning morning oh yo my heart rate my heart rate 150 all the way 
I so sun tie way. <laughs> no point suffer. <sighs> Here it goes, no U-turn, no hold back. Returning back this Concoy is tough man. But to be honest, I like Concoy. The road is very quiet uh, and very wide. Hopefully the road here is fixed as well. I like this shot. Oh, not bad. Climbing up Paris, I maintain my heart rate about 150. I didn't push myself. Wow, well, sorry, reserve my energy to climb back up this. This is going to be hard. See the elevation here? It's up and down, up and down. This Concoy downhill is a big one. It's quite a lot of climbs here as well, going downhill. Front, not even 2km downhill Concoy. I already got one big climb here already. Oh yeah, cruise up lah. I want to tire myself. Today is all about climbing. Ah, climb, climb, climb. <laughs> climb, climb, climb. This is Daniel. The air is all done. I'm just gonna... Ah, so heavy. I feel so heavy. All the Chinese New Year cookies. I feel so heavy. It overtook me already. Again, I'm the last as you can see all around me. All alone. All alone. Uh, one of the subscribers did message me and tell me like, you know, he likes cycling alone. Because there's this uh, tranquility in being alone on the road with your bike. Listening to nature, you know, getting tired, getting bong. He said there's a tranquility around it that he, he likes. So as dangerous as it is sometimes to ride alone, I can find the the temp, the what how say uh, the peace and the joy in being alone on the bike. Seriously, look, just me. No pressure not chasing anyone if they want they wait for me they don't want they can go ahead but so far all my friends so nice they wait for me <laughs> so cool our uh, Vespa <laughs> It was a 12% climb man just now. <laughs> okay. After this last climb, I think it's downhill all the way. Ah, Concoy downhill. I completed all the climbs of the downhill. Oh my goodness. Now finally I can go all the way down. I think it's now 3 km of downhill and we reach it. That was tough man. Kai. Yo, what do you turn on? Go. Go. Everyone have to go back also. Yeah. Bye bye. I have to go back earlier. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Brand new thinking. Ha ha ha. Bye bye. Don't have map, ah. And then look, ah. Yeah, just one loop only, ma. Once you reach the end there, turn right, come back here, man. Hi, doggy. Okay, bye. Bye, have fun. I want to have a drink and then I think I'll just go back. Uh. So now, going back. The shop is open. Let me see if there's anything to eat. I'm kind of hungry now. I think I'm going to take some chips. Take some chips and take a bottle of water. Uh. This will do. And a bottle of water. First, how do I pee? Oh, here. Yeah. Oh, check it out. Some little door here. How do I open the door? Is it here? Huh. Look at that. The toilet. So, I'm gonna pee here. So, I'm gonna pee in Mother Nature here, right? Yeah. Mm, something about peeing in the open air is quite nice. While I'm peeing, I get to see people cycling. Check it out. See, like people are cycling around town. Yeah. Time to flush. Ah. Time to pee. Time 
to go. Okay, now I'm gonna go back. It's hot now, but I wear my sunglasses. At least today though. So I have my super ring and <laughs> eat my super ring on the way back. It's gonna be a long climb this one. Uh, how long is the climb? Let me see. Oh, it doesn't show. Uh, KM, 4.5 KM to go. I think it's about 10 KM now this one. Let's go. Konkoi climb. How do I open this? Do not throw rubbish everywhere. My rubbish in my pocket. <sighs> so this is my carbohydrate. <laughs> Water day. Mm. I wonder why people like uh, super ring so much. My wife loves it. Me, average. Onion ring, tastes yummy, a bit too sweet though, but uh, hopefully it fills me for the remaining 35km. It's a slow process man, I'm going like 5km per hour, this is a slow process. <laughs> uh, last time I can go faster, but now I'm not going to fast myself. I'm going so slow that even the Bahus thinks I'm not moving, it's so embarrassing. Come on resume, let's go! Uh, 28 degrees Celsius right now. Uh, my average speed is 16 km per hour. Man, my fitness dropped so much. Uh, uh, okay, la. let's enjoy the ride. No matter what fitness level we are, it's up and down. I guess another day is go out for a ride. Oh, it's hot. Uh, this segment, between 11 to 12 percent. <laughs> it's torture, man. This is torture. I like got another 7km to go but this is torture, ah, it's torture. I mean this 5-6% climb, I already feel my leg cannot pump in the power already. Oh, 7km more of Kong Koi climb, but there's a bit of rolling at the front. Ah, can't wait to reach the top and rest at Paris top. I'm not kidding you, I'm very hungry. I didn't bring any food, gel, cookies or whatever, I'm just cycling with the super ring that I have in my stomach which I think gone already <laughs> so I bong already I'm not enjoying this ride anymore you are all this shade uh, every time I pass through all the shade behind me uh, it is a blessing man uh, it is a blessing looking at the Konkoi climb profile uh, looks like three mini hantus man <laughs> Downhill, hopefully, with the pickup speed, I can climb a bit up and save some mileage of climbing. Uh, I'm tired. Okay, I'll slow down already. Face reality, I still have to climb. Can't roll all the way up. First time doing Kong Koi, uh, this climb I stop and I walk up. <laughs> Tell you, Kong Koi is a scary climb. Hopefully, today I don't push bike at Kong Koi. I'm nine to 12% and my current state is so hard oh, so steep just now oh, oh, I feel like I'm gonna faint already I feel like I'm gonna faint already oh look at that climb man that's a steep climb right there that's the last bit of Hong Kong towards Paris oh it's not easy man my back hurts the back is so hot I can see my back is burning because of the sun ah. Ah, it's not easy. Probably another 600 meter more to go. I'm hungry, man. I feel my body shivering already. The steepest part of Kong Kai. There. Another 200-300 meters. We are done. 
Wow, the last bit is like 10, 12 percent. Ah, lovely. It's a torture, man, this climb. The last bit, torture. Now, and I'm just doing deep breath. Make sure oxygen go to my lungs, right? Ah, heart rate also 155. Cannot control from it going up already. Ah, ah. More. I can feel it. A bit more. I did it. Ah, ah. Hong Kai is not easy. I'm hungry, man. Ah, I'm gonna go down and rest at the T junction. Sadly, the food truck has nothing to eat. Cannot really. I have to go back to the pump last already. I'm really, really suffering now. Really need to put some carbohydrates and food in my mouth now. So, at least here, no more climb. I'm not a climb anymore, no really. Enough climb for me today. See how tired I am, I can't even sustain 35 km per hour. I can only do about 31. But it's okay lah. Just need to survive. Oh hey, headwind is not helping me man. The headwind is not helping at all. Uh, I'll stop here and see what they have to eat. Uh, I'm super hungry. I'll eat anything really. I'll eat anything right now. Uh, this selection of drinks. Uh, uh. plastic. Uh, uh. Super hungry, right? my stop here <laughs> they all, all they sell is chips and stuff so eat whatever lah so now time to go back super tired KM 69.7 I think the problem that I'm facing now is not about hunger because I hear 8 but the heat is now 36 degrees Celsius recorded on my computer but it feels like 40 way I feel like I'm gonna faint uh, can't even go above 30 I'm like cruising at 28, 29 this is one tough ride not yet my car is at Antu, at Batu Paplas. Shivering already. Hey, Auntie. Hey, oh, I'm okay now. Quick, I'm going to go to the team. Anybody? Hey, soon. Hey, Batu Paplas. I had a bottle of Bali. Definitely feel much better now. Cool down the body a bit. 7 more km to my car. Uh, we are gold. We are gold. We are gold. It was a boost of energy, man. It was a boost of energy. <laughs> Absolutely needed the Bali, man. Gila. And travel about 33 km per hour, 32 km per hour. Feeling much better now. Uh, unless there are some climbs in front, I don't know. Hopefully not. I'll survive. I should come up to 35, 36 km per hour. Ooh, feel much better now with this, with this speed. Uh, 37 km per hour using 130 watts from back wind, I guess, to my favor. Oh, last climb, I think. 200 watts. Uh, 
238. Uh, come on, 500 watts, and done. 670 watts. Okay, yeah, downhill only. Bottom but last. We are done. I feel like it's creating a headlock, man. Yeah, right. Whew. Did it. Super tired, super bald, super hot. Guess what the temperature now is? Eh? 43, 43 degrees Celsius. I'm reaching to my car now, but whoever cycled today, 43 degrees Celsius is madness, right? Good job to you guys. For me, total I did 70. Let's see the stats, huh? Okay, quick start. We did 78 km. Average speed, only 17 km per hour. So embarrassing. Uh, but I did 1,200 meter elevation. Wow. And I paused for only 34 minutes. I moved for four and a half hours, huh? Normalized power, 152. I really control myself. Burn 1,800 calories. I think that's about it. So you guys, I hope you ride this hot weekend. You guys take care and God bless.